Diri mo ako ihahide at na broadcast. Hi, um, my name is Eleanor. Um, I'm from Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. And I'm here today again to do a one-on-one interview with my former classmate, Glenda Ormineta, Papa. Magar. <laughs> Papa Magar. Okay. It's a long you know, family name. Yeah, long family name. So welcome to my page and hopefully you'll get a... Uh, an insight of what uh, Glenda is doing and how it is to be uh, an online business. So Glenda, uh, where are you from? I know where. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Classmates. Hello everyone. Good evening. It's good evening here in the UK and afternoon in Canada. Yeah. So I watched your um, interview. Well, you interviewing you know, China and I was quite <laughs> intimidated by it. Like, Wow, that was, you know, like a tough act to follow because her life was really very interesting. I said, what am I going to tell, you know, Eleanor you know, about my life? I wish I could make up story just to make it, you know, like interesting. Well, yeah, so I'm from the Philippines and um, I came to the UK to work and live in the UK in 2001. That's a long time ago, yeah. And um, I'm a nurse by profession, so I went to college with Eleanor. And um, here. right, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> a picture to prove it. That that is our capping. That yeah. is our capping ceremony. Yeah, I, I know. I uh, I was with my brother and sister-in-law. That my brother and. Sister in law in red, and my brother, yeah, next to you was my brother. Yes, no, we're close because my family name, you and V. I know, I know, we're always you know, on the last. So, yeah, so I must be, you know, like I, I don't know, I with our batch, you know, I'm a year younger than our batch because I've always been like that since you know, elementary and then high school and then college. So, I graduated when I was uh, 19. I graduated and passed the board exam on that same year. And um, I have cousins who were, you know, nurses. So they were teasing me like, um, okay, so now that you have graduated, what are you going to do now? Because you cannot work until you're 21. I think that was the uh, that was the, uh, the law before in the Philippines. But during our time, I think they changed it because they, they, they made quite a lot of changes during our, you know, board exam. Even the, the exam, the way they give us the exam was quite different. So um, I work as a physics teacher in <laughs> yes in high school in the school where i graduated well it wasn't you know intentional it was just the principal you know invited me to come and i thought they're going to hire me as a school nurse and um i didn't know you know what was their plan their plan was to you know uh took over you know a physics you know class so i did that but I did not last the whole year. You know, after that experience, I my my respect for the teacher just went up like 10 notches, you know, higher. Yes, my God, the responsibility. Yes, physics, physics. <laughs> I was quite frustrated. Yes, and, and I was uh, conscious about the fact that every time I will give an exam, you know, most of my students will. I want them to 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 get the perfect score for the quizzes and exam. So yeah. I was thinking, I was having second, you know, doubts now. Like maybe my my teaching approach is not correct. You know, maybe I, I'm doing you know something wrong. I have so many doubts, and I thought I cannot do this because they're high, they're fourth year high school, and they will be going to college after that. And you know, I thought like. If I'm doing something wrong, I, I don't want to do that to them. I want them to be prepared, you know, for the next level. And then, you know, one of the teachers talked to me and then <laughs> she told me, okay, you put yourself into their shoes. Remember when you were in, you know, fourth year high school, do you usually get, uh, you know, high scores during your exams and, and physics, you know, quizzes? I said, no. There you go then. It is not you. It is the subject itself. <laughs> like, okay, fine. But still, you know, I thought like, no, I'd rather, you know, practice nursing. So that and um, the opportunity to come to the UK to work and leave, you know, happened. So I am here now. And then um, 
I know you have grown up kids. Compared to my kids, my kids are really little. So I am a wife. <laughs> I am now a wife and a mom of two very active boys. One is seven years old. That's my oldest. And the second one is five. So as you can see, I really enjoyed my singleton life. So I was, you know, here and there. <laughs> yes. Right, guys. You had a visit. You uh -huh. to Victoria. Yes, I've been everywhere. That's why you know I want to say you know, I travel the world, but not really because I've not to you know every part of the world. But I've been to places that I wanted to go. You know yeah. those places like you only read in the books and you promise yourself someday I'm going to go there. So I've done that. I've been everywhere, and um I have really very adventurous friends. You know when you have gay friends, they're really very joyful. They're fun to be with. Yeah. So when you are with them. On holiday, you know, you're just going out for dinner and you will end up somewhere. So I can say that I've seen things I wasn't supposed to see. <laughs> and all that. So I really, you know, have done you know, everything. Going to Barcelona, we thought we went there to appreciate, you know, Gaudi's architectural prowess. But we ended up, you know, doing something else. You know, all that stuff. I've done it all. And then suddenly I get married and then I had children. So... After my maternity leave with my first son, and that was you know like six years ago, so we decided, me and my husband, you know, decided that one of us has to drop our working hours, yeah. and he thought that it would be best if it would be me. So I I took it. So there, so I was part time since six years ago, and then I get pregnant again, and then I went on maternity leave again, and before I went back. Back to uh, to work, my husband again thought that we need to drop more hours because with the first one, we sent him to um to the daycare and the uh the child uh, care here is quite expensive, and uh, with the second one he thought that um it would be you know like uh economically wise as well to just drop our hours and be hands on with the second you know uh, child so. We did that. So again, I dropped more hours. And then um, when the second one was three years old, we noticed, you know, the big difference between his personality and the first, you know, uh, child. The first one is really very sociable because he'd been in going to, he'd been going to the nursery since he was like 10 months old. Yes, because uh, our our maternity leave, leave here is really long. It's nine to 10 months. And it, if you want to extend up to one year, you can do that. So. So that was it. So when he was three years old, we sent him to the uh, uh, proper, it's like equivalent to kindergarten. So yeah. to make up for the lost, you know, time, so we sent him like every day, well, weekdays from Monday to Friday. And that was, you know, like six hours, you know, every day. Oh. So when we started, when he started going to school and the first one was in proper school already, I suddenly felt like, I am now redundant, you know, I have too much time on my hands and I don't know what to do with it. So this is when the idea of doing something else aside from working, you know, in the hospital wherein I have to, we have to trade, you know, our time for the money. Um, I, I become, you know, curious about this, you know, online business and all that. And I came across this ad, you know, similar to ours, but it was from yeah. someone in Canada, and that is like four years ago. Um, I'm not sure if it was from our, but I don't think, yeah. you know, it was, but the, the, the concept and everything is the same. I was receiving emails and I liked the content of the email, but then because, you know, it was from a man and from Canada. So I thought maybe, you know, it's not going to work because, you know, he's in Canada because of the time difference, you know, you see, and also, um, the email stopped coming, so I just, you know, forgot about it. And then last year, I came across this ad again on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it's from a woman from the UK. And I, I thought she's a nurse. So I reached out to her. We started talking. And here I am now. <laughs> I'm doing this business and I love it. You know, I am really grateful that, you know, I, I, I took action. Yeah. 
I thought like, this is it, you know, well, with my first interview, she told me, yeah, maybe it was meant to be, yeah, definitely it was. So, yeah, so I am here now and I am really enjoying it. The experience is just totally, you know, different. Yeah, we, you know, we lost in, in touch for so mm -hmm. many years, like maybe 20 more years. More than that. <laughs> Yeah, so, 95 yeah 95 yeah. that's when we graduated no you graduated first because <laughs> i graduated to be a mom <laughs> oh, all right there so, you go then. <laughs> I graduate together with you i graduated the next year mm, good at least you know <laughs> see there are advantage and disadvantages of you yeah. know of having children you know early and you know later i keep on telling you know my friends now now that i ended up with two boys i have to be running you know after them oh my gosh i said like had i known this is going to be this hard i would have should have you know, started when i was younger <laughs> high school no i cannot oh, do that the parents will kill me no it's, 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 God, it's, it's hard work it is. i know it's uh, rewarding it is it is yes yes definitely yeah definitely it's worth it it's worth it it's worth all the you know the hard work yes so what are your greatest achievements in this greatest business? achievement in this business i think my greatest achievement really is um learning <coughs> the digital world you see when i joined this business i have zero knowledge with you know computer i know we have you know courses you know with computer but it wasn't as extensive as is it now it is now so uh basically when i i was you know planning to join the business i was trying to solve the business to my husband as well i want him to be on board because i want to use his knowledge <laughs> the, the computer in the side but my husband is just like the any other well most of the husbands in our community he is very skeptical he was so funny about it and um, he said, oh, it cannot be true. That must be a scam, blah, 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 blah. But I have made up my mind already. I have, you know, like really, you know, positive feeling about it. I thought, this is not, I know it, you know, in my heart, I know it is not. And then, so I made him watch the video. After he watched the video, he said like, um, those people are just acting, they're actors. <laughs> it's so funny about it. And then, so, when I have to set up, you know, my business, I have to do it myself, you know, I have to do it myself. So I came from uh, a computer illiterate to now I'm not an expert, but I am still learning and I'm getting there. So yeah, that is my achievement that I am learning something new, something that is, you know, out of my comfort zone. And now, you know, I'm loving it. Okay. And um, secondly, is uh, the you know the the financial reward that comes with it you know we we call it extra income but oh my gosh <laughs> it's more than that and and i am really you know hopeful you know looking at the you know people in our community just like you know um miss gina dimetro what did she say she just bought a new house worth one point something million <laughs> what <laughs> One point something million, and she paid almost sixty percent of the you know amount of the house. Oh my yeah. god! And she'd only been doing this business for two years. Yeah, um, is it two 17. years? Seventeen. So, okay, there you go. Yeah, but yeah. oh my god, one point. How about one point nine? Did I hear that right? You see, one point nine. I know it's millions. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. I want that too. <laughs> yes, I mean the the uh, earning possibilities of this you know of this business is is there the the earning potential you know i keep on telling you know my friends that oh my god the earning potential is through the roof i cannot really you know like explain it to you you know in words but if you will trust me just get in there you know register it's no cost you know watch our online um uh, information session and let me know you know if, if you want to proceed then I will be here to guide you you know through 
because it's it's hard I, to cease to believe i want you to be in there and and look at you know the other people though i i you know i can share with you you know what i have but there is more to this this is just you know the 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 tip of the iceberg <laughs> so it's so a, yeah the, yes the the time flexibility because you know um, you can do it anytime, just like now, you know, like it's almost, it's 10, 30 in the morning and we're doing this. My kids, you know, is sleeping, you know, on the bed and, and I'm still doing, you know, this business. How good is that? I'd like if, you know, I go to work, do some overtime, I have to be there at a specific time at a certain period of time, you know. And, and another thing, my, my uh, what do you call this one? the thing that really you know get me you know into this what do you call that the the uh turning point for me was when i missed my son's um poetry competition in school so he was four years old yeah my first son so he was four years old he was chosen to compete in a poetry competition you know in school and um because he was only four years old so i thought that it was just you know you know inside the school i didn't know that he was chosen again to compete outside school so i received this you know yeah letter saying that you know the teacher i have to uh agree you if i want to agree that the teacher will take him out to this school to compete blah 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 and i was only given like three days to arrange my schedule and i couldn't i couldn't get a day off i tried everything you know i could swap or nothing because in the theaters and i work i didn't say i didn't tell them i am an operating room nurse it's quite you know different even our shifting is different mm -hmm. so um usually our work rota is done you know two months you know ahead of time yeah this is in favor for the uh moms for uh because it, it's supposed to be you know like family friendly well yes <laughs> so i miss that so I sent my husband and my other son who was two years old then and I was thinking oh my maybe if it is his turn to to recite the poem the other one will be crying so now his dad has to step out of the room and he will be really disappointed he really wanted me to be there because I was the one teaching him you know remember we were memorizing together you know the, the poem and then uh, so I asked one of my friends you know his Nino mm -hmm to go with my husband just so you know if he has to go out because the other one is crying so at least he'll be there yeah. and good thing you know my friend you know recorded this he thought like oh my god when he was in the stage you know my um i had goose i have goosebumps yeah. yes he said i have to record this because you need to see it and he did it live i thought oh my god a good thing you know the teacher did not tell you off because that is the policy of the school they're really very strict about you know child protection and also taking pictures videos is not allowed if there are other kids you know, around good thing they were seated at the back so all he can all that was captured in the camera is just you know cash reciting the poem and all the other kids are facing you know forward so all you can see is the back of their heads <laughs> so he shared it to me i think it's in my uh, i shared it on my facebook as well like until now i cannot watch that that you know video without crying i still feel you know like the pinch in my heart like i cannot believe it i miss this though that time i was trying to appease myself like it's okay maybe he's going to do this again next year but the truth is once you missed it you miss it he's only four years old once you know like he was so cute there now he's not so cute anymore because he's seven years old so i thought this should not happen again so yeah so that's why i get to the really serious about this you know like i like the concept of this you know online business and all that now, now that i am in here already i thought like it is actually right you know all my expectations were you know were met about gaining the the time flexibility the time freedom and now hopefully <laughs> financial freedom soon so we can retire early why not you know it's happening to everyone i've seen some nurses in america who already retired and they are so young they're probably just the same age as me and they are now just full-time holiday makers <laughs> i want that i want that now you know before we used to joke you know when i was single so we were everywhere you know holidaying and all like we used to tell each other you know my friends that 
uh, our rest time is only when we are working because when we are working then we have to go to sleep you know on time and then get up you know early in the morning when we're in holiday you know you will be out until yes early morning and then you have to get up early in the morning again <laughs> because <laughs> because there's a bus you know waiting right outside your hotel take you somewhere so you have to get up early oh, it's like you know like a military operation mm -hmm. so now um i want to gain the time freedom not for holiday but so i can you know be with my kids so i can spend you know quality time with them yes so that is so far huh you think there's a catch in this the catch actually there is no catch there is no catch at all the catch is to take action what are you waiting for there is no perfect time the perfect time is now you know if you want to do it do it now you know you cannot wait for you to be an expert on computer or you cannot wait for you to be a genius you know in something because if you wait for that time to come it might not happen so just do it now and learn the process you know as you go along just like you know what i'm doing yeah uh, now not uh not later but now but now there is no perfect time the perfect time is now yeah it's a perfect time first you have to identify what do you want do you want time freedom do you want financial freedom if this are or do you want both if these are the things you want to do yes mm -hmm. um i can tell you i knew i have only been doing this for well less than a year i started around june july and less than a year but i can tell you that yes that is definitely the answer but uh just like any other business as someone said you know uh, you have to, it's a conversion by numbers, but I would say it's conversion by numbers, conversion by time and effort. The more time you put into it and effort to put into it, then you will be reaping, you know, the fruits of your labor, you know, sooner. Yes. So it's like that. You have to identify what you want. And if you, if, if you are definite that this is what you want, then you have to take action. When are you going to take, take action? don't wait for tomorrow if the opportunity is there you know just you know click that www that my w <laughs> my final or or you know eleanor's final and then register all you need to you know do is just put your name and email address and watch our um free free online you know uh info session and that's it and and, and see if you like it and if you do, then you can, you know, drop a message to Eleanor or me, and we will be happy to guide you through this. Yeah. yeah? We're here to help you guys. So We're you here know. to help you. We're happy to help. Yes. So what do you advise to people who are skeptical, like your husband? Oh, my husband is definitely not skeptical. I'm even teasing him, like, now you want to be partner with me now, yes? Because he will keep asking <laughs> Oh my God! Have you been paid? Because he will get the you know the the uh, letter in here. Uh, I don't know. Do you get checks in here? Yeah, we get paid through uh, bank transfers, and then we only get the we get letters from the office. Okay. Okay. Yes, to tell us that this is you know how much you earn, and he would actually open it. <laughs> like, he is more excited about it. Like oh. <laughs> what are you doing is like i think you know he's just embarrassed to say like i want to join <laughs> but i think he's already there he's so inclined but i thought that no i will i will tell you when you when you know when you can join you know <laughs> i have to you know this is my call now i have to learn everything yeah. so i will be you know more expert than you if i let him join now then he might be my boss because he will learn all this <laughs> so i have to learn everything first before he comes in so when he comes in you know i know everything you know already oh my so thank you glenda for your time is that it ah. yeah. thank you so yes. much and we connected again through this online business and uh, i know I you haven't changed a bit you oh, know oh, you still oh, look you know, like i know they call you you know El, ellie but you're always illinois to me i like your name eleanor <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. i cannot say no to you because when i started you were one of the you know people who guided me through this you were one of my you know best support system 
Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Yes. Oh, oh my God, how time flies. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, thank you. Although it's uh, nighttime there in the UK. How, what time is it? 10.30? It is already, <laughs> yes. 10.30. Oh. 10.36. Oh, yeah, it's about uh, 2.30 here. So, oh, thank okay. you so much. Eight and, hours, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you so much too. Yes, thank you. See you around. Thank you. Thanks, Brenda. Okay. So if you want to learn more about our business, just uh, message me or put your name and email address at www.leverian.net and send me a message. And hope you learn something from Brenda. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.